Welcome back, all you Iced GT gamers. This is Iced GT coming to you live from Southern California. In today's Anthem video, we've got a treat in the form of a new Anthem live stream put on by a couple of the Bioware developers. This one's specifically focusing on the Forge and the personalization options that you get to change the appearance of your javelins. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Today's live stream was hosted by Francis Lacuna, one of the character directors, Leah Shinkowski, an associate producer, and Ben Irving, the lead producer of Bioware. We found out a ton of new information in regards to how you're going to be able to change the appearance of your javelin, such as the fact that the helmet, arms, legs, and chest pieces are all interchangeable. These are purely cosmetic and do not affect gameplay in any way. Unfortunately, much to the community's dismay, they did not go over any of the gear customization options, just personalization in this live stream. The primary place that you're going to be changing your appearance is in the paint section. In here you have a full color wheel, which looks to be able to create the full 6 million range of colors that you have available on your standard high definition monitors. Once you've picked a color, it goes into your color chart with sections for your recent colors that you've chosen, custom colors that you've created, and if you can't decide for yourself, a range of preset colors that the artists have put together for you at the bottom. Unfortunately, at launch, the Forge is not going to have a randomized feature to automatically choose a range of colors for you, so you'll just have to get creative. The camera has full 360 degree rotation around your javelin and full zoom to go in quite deep into the detail of your javelin, but no photo mode was mentioned, so it leads me to believe that this is definitely not going to be available at launch, but it definitely sounds like they're looking to put it in in the future. There are going to be four different types of materials that are going to be available at launch, ranging from different types of metal, cloth, fabric, and leather. If you pick a metal, you can change the type of metal that you're going to be used based on real-world metal properties, such as reflectivity and color. There are going to be 14 different types of metal available at launch. Leah Shinkowski specifically mentioned that she liked putting a shiny metal material onto her Storm Javelin's cape. There are going to be no alien materials available, despite the fact that the game is based on a planet that does not appear to be Earth. And based on the tone, it did not sound like they were going to be making any additional alien materials available at any point in the future. Although, with the game still being in development, it's difficult to say whether this would remain true through the game's entire 10-year life cycle. For those who don't want to fully customize the look of their javelin, there are vinyls. Completing certain missions or certain objectives will get you a pattern that you can apply broadly to your entire javelin based on a particular theme. Once you've applied the vinyl, unfortunately you will not be able to customize the colors of the vinyls themselves as they found that doing so put a huge performance hit on the game such as reducing frame rate, although they didn't really go into the technical specifics. In addition, they showed off the animations. You'll be able to choose separate animations for after you've completed a mission and your grand entrance for when you join a party. There are lots of emotes that are going to be coming available at launch, and while the page did not have any custom icons yet, they showed off a number of them to us, such as shadow boxing, big laugh, Don't talk to me. Francis Lacuna's favorite, finger guns. Pew pew! Heavy air guitar, for those of you who want to rock out. Caesar thumbs down, for those who want to play like a gladiator. Hip hop, for those who want to dance your groove on. And Ben Irving's favorite, Kung Fu Form 1. It sounds like there's going to be a ton more emotes in the game, including one that they mentioned but didn't show, which is an emote where a Colossus will actually do a full backflip. That I can't wait to see. During the course of the stream, they showed off a number of different designs that they threw together on the fly, such as the Ranger in the Legion of Dawn gear decked out in a blue coloration, the Storm Javelin in what looked to be like a snake armor set in blue as well. 
and this amazing looking Colossus in a green mottled coloring. Now the Legion of Dawn armor set that you get from either pre-ordering or purchasing the Legion of Dawn edition of the game won't actually come looking like the official artwork that you see on the website. And that is because an armor set is just the basis for what your javelin is going to look like. You have the ability to fully customize the material and color of even your Legion of Dawn edition. The one thing that wasn't customizable in the build that they had up for the stream, but they said would be available at launch, is the ability to change the coloration and material of your helmet visor. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you like this video and you want to see more Anthem content, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel down below. If you dislike this content, feel free to leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you want to set up your javelin. And as always, this is IceGT, signing off. Have a great night.